Welcome to the Lutheran Church of St. John and the worship resources that we are providing for you. This weekend, I am really looking forward to saying those words of welcome to people who will be gathered right here in the church itself. After 12 weeks, we are going to be able to open the doors of our sanctuary for worship once again. It's going to look a little different with smaller crowds and social distancing, but it will be good to be here together. For those of you who've been watching online, I want you to know that we will continue to make these worship resources available every week uh, because we want to continue to share God's word with you as well. But we also want you to know that if, if you found us online and you happen to live uh, here in the Quincy area and not far from us, you're welcome to come and join us. Sunday mornings, we'll be gathering here at 8, 9, 30, and 11. And uh, there'll always be room for you. So uh, we hope you'll, you'll consider coming and being a part of worship. But know that when you can't, continue to tune in here uh, with these worship resources uh, that are provided for you. As we gather uh, together this morning, we do so in the name of our God. Our God who throughout all of this has been present and working in our hearts and lives. And it's in his name that we'll gather here in this church and it's his name that we gather in your homes and we can be confident of his presence in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, you have given us grace to acknowledge the glory of your name, the Holy Trinity. Keep us steadfast in this faith and defend us from all adversaries. For you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, live and reign in our hearts and lives now and forever. Amen. Our first reading uh, for this morning comes from the book of Romans, chapter 8. If you've been watching these videos for a while, you know that it, it was these verses that we used for the very first uh, video message that I shared with you 12 weeks ago. And I thought that as we begin to reopen the church, it would be appropriate to hear these words of promise once again. Romans chapter 8, beginning at verse 28. And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. For those God foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son, that he might be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters. And those he predestined, he also called. Those he called, he also justified. And those he justified, he also glorified. This is the word of the Lord. Our gospel reading comes from Matthew's gospel. The 28th chapter, beginning at verse number 16. Here we see God, uh, Jesus revealing to us that name of our triune God that we began with together. Uh, but also he gives us the encouragement to take this message of our triune God out into the world around us. Then the eleven disciples went to Galilee. To the mountain where Jesus had told them to go. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. Then Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and earth has been given to me. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely, I am with you always, to the very end of the age. 
This is the gospel of our Lord.